I'm not surprised it converges. You know, I, 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 that's for me that I, I fully uh, expected it to converge. No, but uh, that wasn't the issue. We knew it would converge because we'd proved theoretically that it had to converge. Yeah, but how long it takes to do it, whether it's That's practical. Right. Yeah, but for me, like the, it would seem that you have a very complex process. So this is a, a critique that I don't know if, if it's correct or not, but that the order in which people make the decisions will, basically the, the process itself, the prices that end up are probably path dependent on the process itself. Is that a fair comment, do you think? Like the fact that I put in too much this time versus too much that time, and that in the whole balancing of the economy, that they interact in a certain way, that depending on the path, you will end up with a different set of prices, just depending on the random variation in the actual planning no, process. I don't, I don't think that's true, actually. I mean, if you think about the simulations, if, if, if you start the simulation with a particular initial indicative price vector and you just run it again, you'll get the exact same run. Okay, but in the real world, people won't do exactly what is built in the True. prediction model. So that, like, yeah, I expect the, the actual, maybe the model will get the exact same answer. But if there was randomness inputted into the decisions at the different steps, you know, just normal distributed random changes that you would end up with a different price because the, the, as far as I can remember, like the, the solution for your price in this N dimensional vector space is it's not one point. There's not a single point. There's like an area, you know, like there's an equivalent of an area in some N dimensional space on some convex, whatever multidimensional thing that it's like, here is a whole solution space that, P's in this area will solve the, the problem. And so, like, if that is true, I don't know if it's right, maybe that in the process of doing things that they just tend to converge quite closely, but they, they could lead to different uh, solved prices depending on the path. And if, if that's true, then you would have changes between, say, last year's price for uh, a semiconductor and this year's price of semiconductor that's dependent, you know, on the path and so you will end up with people being able to basically traders, you'll end up with like a black market trade, not based on voting or not based on, say, the people, the, the councils that are in, in a position of power. But you could end up with people literally just playing uh, last year. This was priced what we think is too high. This year has gone cheap. I'll buy it this year. I'll sell it next year. It's up 10. It's down 10. And people are able to get an unearned income and maybe be able to increase their their consumption over time. That the, the last thing you described was the thing we were talking about before. And my and, and my response to that is go for it. Well that's and voting. The, yeah, but that that's so that's 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 voting to manipulate it as opposed to just no, uh, no, the, manipulating the, the, the variation that might be intrinsic in the actual path dependence of the solution. 